how to knit the garter slip stitch for the loom. For today's tutorial, you will need your knitting loom. Today we are using the KISS regular gauge knitting loom with no spacers in between the pins and the pegs, your knitting tools, and a ball of yarn. Today we are using Manos Maxima 100% merino wool in the color Current. For this stitch, we will be using the following techniques. Knit stitch, purl stitch, slip stitch purl wise, and slip stitch knit wise. To begin this stitch, cast on in multiples of two plus one. Row one, knit all the way across to the end of the row. Row two, purl all the way across to the end of the row. Row three, knit one, then as we begin our repeat, we will slip one stitch purlwise, which means we will just bring our yarn around the back of the pins, skipping the next peg, then knit one. Repeat this by slipping one stitch and knitting one stitch all the way to the end of the row. At the end, you should be able to see these bars in the back of your work where you slipped your stitches. Row four, purl one, Then we will begin our repeat by slipping one stitch knitwise, which means you will rotate the next stitch on the peg without knitting it to twist the stitch. Then bring the yarn around the twisted stitch and onto the next peg. Then purl one. Repeat this to the end of the row. Row five, knit all the way across to the end of the row. Row six, purl all the way across to the end of the row. Row seven, begin by knitting two stitches. Then we will begin our repeat by slipping one stitch purlwise, then knitting one stitch. Repeat this by slipping one stitch, then knitting the next stitch all the way to the last stitch. Knit the last stitch. Row eight, begin by purling the first two stitches. Then we will begin our repeat by slipping the next stitch knitwise, then purling one stitch. Repeat this to the very last stitch. As a shortcut to make your work go faster, you can slip the stitches purlwise first 
and then go back through and rotate them to twist the stitch for the knit wise version of the slip stitch. When you get to the last stitch, purl that stitch. Repeat rows 1 through 8 until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the garter slip stitch for the loom. Want more loom knitting tutorials? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our blog at VintageStorehouse.com to get new videos and posts sent right to your inbox. Thanks for watching!